Welcome back. Well, our next guest has a familiar tune after college. He was broke and he had to move back in with his parents along with his wife. And then Steve Siebold started interviewing millionaires, listened to their advice, and went on to create very successful businesses. We are happy to welcome Steve back to the Morning Blend. His most recent book is How Money Works. And today he's got advice for teaching our kids about money, especially now that they're home more. We have so a little extra time on our hands to impart some wisdom. Great to see you again. Good to see you Good again, see Steve. You. Good, Good morning to, to you. Um, first of all, why do you, do you like this time to be talking to our kids about money? Well, it's just so important. I mean, with the shutdown and, and all the things that are going on in the economy of all these people out of work, I think it's a great time to teach some fundamental lessons about how money works. I love a little bit of your backstory before we get into some of these um, things that people need to know about how you learned about money because you studied financial self-made millionaires. Yeah, 1984, I was a broke college student, as you mentioned, and uh, wanted to be successful financially, so I started interviewing self-made millionaires. And since then, I've interviewed over 1,300 over the last uh, 36 years. It's been a long time. Wow. Yeah, that is incredible. Um, I feel like there's there's so many things that, that as parents we want our kids to learn. And, and sometimes I think money is, is something that parents shy away from um, because they maybe don't want to disclose what their income is or how much debt they have or, you know, those kinds of things. But I, I think it's so important that we that we kind of break down those barriers and have the conversations. Oh, you're totally right. I mean, there's so many things that kids learn about money. You think about when you grow up that uh, that are that are negative and money is a very positive thing as long as you have enough of it and there's opportunity everywhere to earn money especially when the economy is struggling especially when people are struggling because there's problems to solve and the more problems you solve the more money you make I and mean, it's a it's a it's a very basic concept i i love that um let's break down some of the things that you say are necessary for kids to know the first one is no entitlement mentality allowed yeah, I think you want to teach them right away that making their bed and helping with the dishes and maybe, maybe uh, you know, mowing the lawn and some other basic things are part of a part of their their uh, their weekly routines and they don't get paid for those things. But some things they can get paid for outside of the norm, and that way they don't they don't develop an entitlement mentality like a lot of people do, and a lot of people have. But they also can earn money doing things that are that are seen as extra. You say by the age of 15, they should have a part-time job or some way to earn money, maybe even if it's babysitting or dog sitting, something like that. Absolutely, because then they see the, 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 the value of money, that you work so much, you, you work, put so much effort in, and you get so much back based on the service you're providing or the problem you're solving. And they start to learn how the basics of how a free market economy works. I mean, you can talk until you're blue in the face about how, a, how a free market economy works, but when you actually participate in it at whatever level, you start to understand the fundamentals. How about teaching them how to make it grow? How do you do that? Well, you teach them about basic investing. You teach them you know, about things like the, the rule of 72 and how long it takes a $1 to turn to $2 based on a fixed percentage rate, in other words. These basic things that Tom Matthews and I, my co-author, we covered in the book, we literally wrote this book for a 14-year-old kid to, to be able to understand. And right now, it's the number one selling financial uh, personal finance book in the, in the country. And I think just because wow. we made it so simple. But it's just a, literally a 14-year-old child could understand how to take money and make it grow more than most adults know, uh, you know about the basics of personal finance. Good for you. You suggest getting excited about money. I think a lot of people are depressed about money. Or scared of it, even. Well, yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. And I think it's because they don't really understand how money works. I mean, where are we taught these things? They don't teach us in high school. They don't even teach us in college. I mean, even, even classes in finance and accounting and economics don't really teach you the basics of how money works. And frankly, those, those classes are much more difficult than the basics of personal finance. So we don't teach these things. The financial firms don't want us to know because the more ignorant we are about money, the richer they get. So I think it's really up to the parents to be able to teach their kids just the basics so they start to think in a very different way. We're running out of time, so I'm gonna uh, say the next one and I'll go on to the last one. You say money doesn't equal happiness, which I'm glad that you talk about, but I really want you to hit that you say any child can strike it rich. They really can. If they understand how you exchange 
solutions to problems for money and the bigger problem you solve the the more money you make once they understand that fundamental and then they understand how to take money and grow money so they're not sticking it under a mattress or in a coffee can and burying in the backyard like many people still do in some ways or putting in a passbook savings account at 0.01 percent which then the banks you know rip people off all the time with those things once they understand these basics they have a real chance of being financially independent I love it. It's always great to see you. We prefer it when you're here in person, yeah. but we appreciate you joining us virtually. Stay in touch with us and tell us about your next work, too. That was great, Steve. Will do. Thanks so much, ladies. Sounds Thank you. Good. good seeing you. Yep, you too. Take good care of yourself. And to find out more about Steve's book, visit HowMoneyWorks.com.